Shalom everyone! It's me again, Jamie, a caregiver slash... Sorry, vlogger of Israel. <laughs> so, today is a... Wait, today is... Let's, time, let's check our time. 5.20 um, in the afternoon, Saturday, June 19. It's a Yom Shabbat here in Israel. So, I, I will talk in English and in the Tagalog. So, for my foreign viewers and my kababayans in the Philippines. So, we're going to talk about mezuzah. What is mezuzah? I show you what is mezuzah. Here. This is mezuzah. Let's take a close look. Look, look closer. You see, this is mezuzah. It's exactly uh, in the door. In the corner of the door. This is the door. You open here. And the mezuzah is just there. You see? Mezuzah. And it's, a, it's a Hebrew name, mezuzah. There's no English name of this mezuzah. Wait, 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 let me check it, mezuzah. So, we're going to talk about this mezuzah. What is this all, is all about? Pag-uusapan natin kung ano nga ba tong mezuzah. Mezuzah. Because I'm not native uh, Hebrew. So, what I hear in the people here in Israel is it, they call it mezuzah. So, you can buy here in Israel, all the shop here, you can buy this. It's uh, very, very available. Mezuzah. Uh, mabibili nyo to sa mabibili nyo to sa lahat ng shop dito sa Israel. Kahit sa kayo magpunta makakabili kayo ng mezuzah. Ah, it's a dito sa Israel. Pero you cannot buy this in, I think, in the Philippines. You can, I don't see never this in the Philippines because it's a Christian country, which is Israel is a majority here is Jewish or Judaism. On, only little percent is a Christian. So in Tagalog, uh, wala kami masyadong mabibili dito sa Pilipinas. Kasi ang, ang, ang Pilipinas kasi is a Christian country. At dito sa Israel, majority ng mga tao dito ay Judaism, dun sa Old Testament. So usually, mabibili itong mesusa dito sa Israel. Kasi majority nga dito ay <laughs> napotol. So yun nga, um, uh, somebody call me. So we're going to talk about mesusa. I checked my boyfriend what is they, they call it. He, he said it's mesusa. Because I'm not Hebrew native language, so I checked the the name exactly here. It's mezuzah. We're going to talk about this. What is this is all about? I Do look, you see? This is mezuzah. I show you more. This is mezuzah. Ito ang mezuzah. All uh, door here in Israel, you can find that in the corner of the door. All. You see? This is the doorknob. On, on the hair. And this is the mezuzah. See? see? Hey, friends. Okay, now I'm going to show you the closer look of mezuzah. Okay, you see? This is mezuzah. What? what the Israel put in the corner of the door. So, ito yung mezuzah. Papakita ko sa inyo na malapitan. Ito yung mezuzah na nilalagay sa pintuan ng mga Israeli dito sa Israel. Okay, kita nyo. You see? Inside. This is mezuzah. This is the mezuzah what the Israel people put in the corner of their delet. If you shake, you see, pag inalog mo siya, if you shake this, you hear this? Narinig nyo? Okay, if you, if you shake, you hear something, right? Okay, this mezuzah is uh, made by the rabbi and some uh, Jewish men. 
If you say rabbi, it's a priest here in Israel. Pare. Pag sinabing rabbi, pare yun. Okay. What is inside? Okay. Ano nga ba yung nasa loob nito? This small parchment is made of the skin of the goat. Yes, you hear me right. This That small parchment, it's like paper, but it's not paper. It's a, the skin of the goat. Tama na rin ninyo. Yung nasa loob ng mesuzan na to, na maliit na parang parchment o maliit na parang papel, actually hindi yan papel. Yan ay gawa sa balat ng kambing. Okay, narinig nyo? Balat ng kambing. Noong una, akala ko nga, ano eh, papel eh, pero hindi. Balat to ng kambing. At first, I thought it's a, it's a paper inside, but no. It's not a paper, it's a skin of the goat. Did you know that it's difficult to make the mezuzah? It takes a, Two months or more. It's not joke. Why? Because uh, you need to dry the kebes. Oh, kebes is a Hebrew name of goat. You need to dry the skin of the goat. Make it a, the, it takes process. So it's not easy to make the skin of the goat drier, dried. So. They will uh, make it dry, the skin of the goat. And they use a um, machine to make it dry and uh, it look like paper. So after the process, one month, they will bring the skin of the goat to the rabbi. And they will make another process there. I don't know what they're doing here. So after they make the skin of the goat like paper... The rabbi or the priest will start to write the secret prayer of the Jewish. The secret prayer. They will write the secret prayer inside of the skin of the goat. Like this, right? And they started to roll like this. And then put it inside. You see? This is the what the rabbi and the Israel made. A secret prayer. It's not a paper, ha? Huh? Inside. It's a skin of the goat. So it takes two months before it made. It's not joke. It's, and it's not easy to make like this. And after the skin of the goat, like paper and dry, the rabbi will write a secret prayer. So it's written in Hebrew, not in English. So in Tagalog, uh, hindi madali ang gumawa ng, ng ito, 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 itong nasa loob na to hindi madali. Kasi, gugugulin mo ay dalawang buwan sa paggawa nitong nasa loob na to Why? Sa unang buwan, yung balat ng, ng kambing, patutuyuin yun, patutuyuin sa unang buwan. May prosesong ginagawa ang mga mga rabay. Rabay is eh, pare dito sa Israel. Isang buwan nyo, may proseso silang ginagawa doon sa balat ng kambing. So, yung balat, kunyari, ito yung balat ng kambing. Patutuyuin na nila yun sa araw. Pat, itadry nila yun. Gumagamit sila ng mga machine. Tapos, hanggang sa maging dry yung balat ng kambing. Actually, may proseso yun. Nilalagay muna nila sa tubig pinapalapad muna nila yon, tapos pinapagpag, tapos nilalagay sa machine na parang papalaparin siyang ganun, tapos patutuyuin. So, one month yun na proseso, tapos susunod na, na another one month, dadalhin yun sa mga rabay. May isang lugar dito sa Israel na nilalagay yung ito, 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 ito nasa loob na to, nilalagay dun sa lugar na yon, may mga puro rabay lang o mga pare ng Israel. Rabay is pare ha. Nilalagay dun sa shop na yon, tapos ni ginagawa silang proseso dun sa balat ng kambing. Tapos pag natuyo na yung balat ng kambing at para na siyang papel, mukha na siyang papel, puting puti at malinis, susulatan ng mga rabay o pare ng Israel yung ito, 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 itong parchment na to, susulatan nila ng secret prayer. 
Hebrew letters ha, hindi siya English. Hebrew letters. Secret prayer ng mga ng, ng Israel para dito sa Mesuza. Sec, secret prayer ha, secret prayer. Tapos pag natapos nila yung yung secret prayer, iroroll yon na nila yon, roll yon. Hindi ko ma-show sa inyo yung roll yon kasi hawak ko yung isang kamay ko sa, sa isang camera. So pagka roll yon nila yon, ito na yon. Ito na yung finish product. Ipapasok na nila ngayon dito sa loob ng mezuza. Actually, wait. Um, you see? Ayan siya, may prayer yan. Sa, may prayer yan sa loob. Only the rabbi will, uh, is allowed to, to, to make a, sec, a secret prayer inside this a skin of the goat. So, rabay lang ang may karapatan na mag magbless at gumawa ng balat ng kambing. Pare ng Israel o rabay sa Hebrew. So, mahabang proseso yan. It takes two months. So, in English, it takes, again, it takes two months to make a skin of the goat like this. It's a It goes in in one month process in the in the place where the skin of the goat needs to be dried and uh, flat like this and and clean in the water and make like that. And when the the skin of the goat is dry and flat, th they will transfer it in the shop of the rabbi, and they make another process again, and then. After the, it's look like the skin, the skin of the goats look like paper. They start to write the secret prayer, the secret prayer of the Jewish for this mezuzah. It's written in Hebrew, not in English. Okay. So uh, sometimes my mistake, ah, my mistake, my mistake. It's not thirty-five shekel. I'm sorry. The original mezuzah it takes one thousand shekel or more. What I tell before, 35 shekel, it's a, it's a copy or it's not original mezuzah. It's like a fake, a somebody a copy, but it's not original what is inside. So, you see, I show you something. Wait, I papakita ko sa inyo. This mezuzah is put in the corner of the, the door, what I show you before. You must put a, na a nail or pako here. Like that, you see. And another one. Put it here. It's ready, huh? It's ready. Hole. And you put in the corner of the door. Like that. Okay, you see. So, lalagyan mo lang siya ng pako. Dito sa magkabilaan. Yan, tulad yan. Tapos, ilalagay mo na siya dun sa pintuan, sa may gilid ng pintuan. Pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. Ipapako mo siya, ipapako mo siya dun sa may gilid ng pintuan. So, ayan siya. Ayan, nakita nyo? Ayan, mesuza. Okay, another explanation about this mesuza. It's a, together with the mesuza, the, the nail or the pako. Kasama na yan. Magkasama itong dalawa. So, eh, this mezuza is blessed by the rabbi. And there is inside a secret prayer. So, meron siyang sekretong dasal na tanging rabbi o pare ng Israel lang may karapatan mag, ang magsulat. It's Hebrew letters. Hindi to siya in, in English. Hebrew. So, nilalagay siya sa loob. It is blessed by the rabbi. So, may Hebrew letters ay nakikita nyo. Meron pa yan sa loob. It's a Hebrew letters. But, you, you will see another thing here inside. It's a written prayer inside this uh, skin of the goat. And another thing I want to tell you. Um, it costs 1,000 shekel. My mistake is not a uh, 35 because some shop here in Israel I sometimes I I ask some seller here 
eh, they say 35 shekel, 45 shekel, 50 shekel, because it's fake. <laughs> Mezuzah, it's not original like this. Because some shop, they copy the same eh, Mezuzah, but inside, they, they cannot copy what is inside, because it's secret prayer. Also, I want to tell you, um, only the rabbi is allowed to make a, to make this and bless the mezuzah. It costs 1,000 shekel or more. The, the original price, uh, the original price. So, mahal. 1,000 uh, 1, shekel or more. So, yung sinabi ko kanina na 35 shekel, 40 shekel, 50 shekel. Ano yun, mga fake yun na Hindi yun original na mezuzah. Kasi kahit saan naman tayo magpunta, di ba? May, may kumukopya ng mga brand na original. Parang ganun din, may kumukopya din ng brand na ginagaya nila yung mezuzah. Which is hindi naman nila magaya dahil iba yung nga yung nasa loob. So, binibenta nila sa murang halaga na 35 shekel, 40 shekel, 50 shekel. Pero it's not original. It's a only cop copied o gawa, gin, kinopya lang. So, ano pa ba sasabihin ko? Another thing, here in Israel, all the Jewish door, if you come here in Israel, all the Jewish store, you can find a mezuzah on the door. This is the first thing you can notice if you come here in, in Israel. All the Jewish door, all, all the Israel people door has a mezuzah on the corner of the door. All, so, in Tagalog, um, pag nandito kayo sa Israel, mapapansin nyo, lahat ng pintuan ng mga Israeli, Israel ha, may mesusa sa gilid ng kanilang pintuan. Isa yan sa mapapansin nyo dito pag nandito kayo sa Israel. Lahat ng pintuan nila ng mga Israeli ay may mesusa sa gilid ng pintuan. Pag walang mesusa ang pintuan, hindi yung Jewish Christian. <laughs> Look, I show you something, ha? Papakita, ipapakita ko sa inyo, ha? Okay. This is the... This is the... Oh. This is the house of the Christian. It's not Jewish eh, house. It's Christian house. You see? You cannot find a mezuzah here in the corner of the door. Actually, it's put here. It is put here. Dito nilalagay yun. Hindi yan dito. Dito. You, you see? It's, it's Christian door. It's Christian home. Because there is no mezuzah. Also here. You see? You cannot find mezuzah. Because it's Christian eh, home. If you find mezuzah here, it means eh, Jewish. The people living here is Jewish. Or Judaism. So, in Tagalog, pag nakita nyo na walang mezuzah dito sa gilid ng pintuan, iba wala, ibig sabihin hindi yung Jewish yung nakatera sa bahay na to. Kundi Christian. Pag may nakita ka yung mezuzah sa gilid, Jewish ang nakatera o Israeli or Judaism. So, wala. Isabihin, Christian. Ayan, dito, usually dito nakalagay. Walang nakalagay, so Christian ang nakatera. Ganon din dito. ba walang nakalagay? Kasi Christian. Pag may, may, mayroong mesuza, is Jewish. Okay, you, you hear what I said? If there's mesuza in the corner of the door, if there is mesuza, it's a Jewish or Israeli. If there's no mesuza, maybe Muslim, maybe Christian, maybe atheist. Uh, you see, usually it's the mezuzah is put here in, 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 in the upper side here. You can put it here, and this is the door like like this one. Tulad nito ha, katulad nito. This is the door na between door na, and you put the mezuzah here. Here, ito yung ilalagay yung mezuzah. Ito yung door na. So, walang, walang mezuzah, Christian ang nakatera. There's no mezuzah on the corner. It's Christian living here or Muslim or Ortiz. If you find mezuzah in the corner, it's Israeli people or Jewish or, Jewish or Judaism. So, yun na nga. So, this is mezuzah, okay? Mezuzah. 
So I, I explain you everything about the mezuzah. It's not a joke to make a mezuzah. It's not uh, easy. So at first I thought it's very easy to make a mezuzah, but it's not because I asked a Jewish man here in Israel what its mezuzah is made of. So nag akala ko kasi noon madali lang gumawa ng mezuzah, which is hindi. Nagpinaliwanag niya sa akin yung paggawa ng mezuzah. So hindi siya madali, hindi siya joke, hindi siya biro. Yung sinasabi ko kanina na 35 shekel, 40 shekel, 50 shekel. Actually, mga ano lang yun, mga fake o ginagaya. Alam mo naman sa atin, di ba? Ginagaya yung mga original product. Ganon din dito sa Israel. So, ang gumagawa lang nito, rabbi or priest. Rabbi is a Hebrew name ng priest or pare. So, pagpasensyahan nyo ng aking ang aking mukha. Kasi gusto kong matapos tong video na to about the mezuzah. I want to show you what is mezuzah. So, in English, um, I'm sorry if my background is not good because I want to finish the topic about this content, about the topic about the mezuzah. So, you cannot find this in the uh, Philippines. I, I, don't, I, I don't believe that you can find in another country. Only here in Israel. Maybe if there's a Jewish in this in the that country and they say they say like this maybe but most i don't see so you can ma, 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 mabibili nyo lang to sa mga sa mga sa Israel yung si Israel lang naman gumagawa nito eh. Israel tapos um may nabibili siguro sa mga ibang bansa pero bihirang bihira kundi Jewish yung nakatera yun. Pwede niyang ibenta. Pero mahirap, mahirap makaharap ng ganito. Usually dito lang talaga sa Israel. And another thing I want to show you. Ah! I forget to tell you. So, ito yung simbolo nung panahon na yun. Na, nung simbolo ng dugo. Na hindi pinatay ng, ng Angel of Death ang mga anak na panganay ng mga um... Israelites On, only the uh, the eldest son of the of the Egyptian were being killed only the eldest son so you can you can know the story of the of that story in, on the Bible in the time of Moses so if you have the Bible you can uh, you can um, you can read or you can watch on the YouTube the story of Moses where the God of Israel killed the eldest son of Eldesana of the Egyptian. You can find in the in the Bible, and also you can find on the YouTube. The time of Moses, if I'm not mistaken, it's a King Ramses of Egypt. So in Tagalog, malalaman yung kwento ni ng Mesuza. Kung bubuksan yun yung libro yun ng Bible sa Old Testament sa panahon ni Moses, anapin yun yung panahon ni Moses. Nung panahon na alipin pa sila nun sa Egypt, na inilabas sila ng panginoong yawa sa Egypt. Tapos, pinatay nga ng Panginoong Yahweh yung mga anak na panganay na lalaki na mga Egyptian. At nagutos ang Panginoong Yahweh na lagyan nyo ng dugo, yung pintuan nyo, dugo ng kambing at dugo ng tupa. Para malaman ng angel of death na hindi nga papatayin ang mga nasa loob ng bahay na yun kasi may dugo nga. So, you can, you can find the story in the Google or in the Old Testament of the Bible, the story of Moses. During the time when uh, God of Israel um, removed the Israel people out of Egypt from slaves. So in the time of Moses, that ten plaques of Israel, it, it's included in the ten plaques of Israel. Kasama yun sa sampung salot na ibinigay ng Panginoong Yahweh sa mga um, Egyptian. So it's a long, very long story. It's not a joke. It cost 1,000 shekels. So, 1,000 shekel lang halaga niya. Maipaluanag ko na kung bakit 35, 40, 45, 50 yung nasabi ko sa unang video ko. So, you see? Another one is a... Another one I want to tell you. A, the story of Moises is finished, right? Tapos na yung story ni Moises. Pero, until now, binabalikan natin yung nangyari na yun. The story of Moses is finished. So, I want to tell you um, why Israel people until now they put the mezuzah on the on the door. 
bakit nga ba nilalagay ng mga Israeli ang meso sa magpahanggang ngayon? Itapos na nga yung nangyari nung, nung panahon ni Moses, diba? Tapos na yun. So, simbolo siya, nilalagay siya sa pintuan. It's give you blessing sa mga nakatira dun sa loob ng bahay. Then, meso sa protects the owner of the house and it also give blessing. This is the reason why they put the meso sa on the door. Blessing all kinds of blessing and protection. So, another thing, every time the Israeli uh, go outside of the house, all the time they kiss this. For example, it's, this is the door. For example, ha, halimbawa lang, ito yung pintuan, this is the door. And they put like that. Example, ha, all the Israeli people, every time they go out, before they go outside, they kiss the message like this, and they, and like that. All the time, I see them like that. So, in, in, in Tagalog, kunyari, ito yung mesosa. Ito yung pintuan. Kunyari, ito yung pintuan. Kunyari, andito yung mesosa. Kunyari lang nga, nandyan. Nakadikit. Yung mga Israeli people, bago sila lumabas ng bahay, kinikis muna nila yung mesosa. Kinikis muna nila. Mahalikan. Tapos, magdadasal. Tapos, alsa sila ng bahay. Parang sa atin, sa mga Christian, Before we leave our house, we say a little prayer on the door. Before we leave the house, like that. And we say little prayer, like, hey, God, protect this home when I, am, when I am away. And protect me where I am going. And uh, give me success for what I plan to do outside, like that, like that. So, this is the, the prayer of the Christian, like us. We don't have a message Christian, but we... Uh, Every time we, we leave the house, we, we make sign of the cross and say a little prayer to protect the house and uh, guide us in the, in, the, in the place we're going. So, in Tagalog, uh, sa Christian, wala naman tayong mesosa, di ba? So, sa atin, bago tayo umalis ng bahay, nag, sa sign of the cross muna tayo, tapos nag, nag-uusal o nagdadasal ng maiksing dasal na na gabayan ang bahay. Diba? Ganun yung ginagawa natin, ba? Diba? Bago tayo lumabas ng bahay, nagdadasal muna tayo ng small, small prayer, not long prayer, maiksing dasal, na naproteksyonan ang bahay natin sa mga magnanakaw, sa mga uh, kung ano masasamang, masasamang tao, proteksyon na habang tayo ay nasa labas, at magtagumpay tayo sa ating pupuntahan, walang maging abala. So, ganun din tayong mga Christian ang mga Jews nga lang, meron silang mesosa. It's different. So, in, in English, in Christian, uh, we don't have a mesosa, like the Jewish, or the Israel people. But every time we go outside of the house, most people I see, not all, uh, they say a little, before they make a sign of the cross, and say a small prayer to protect the house. Before, uh, the Christian, before they leave the house, protect the house against uh, thieves, against uh, bad people, steal, stealer or people who burn your house, like that, you know what I mean, bad people. And to protect the house, protect the home, when the owner is, is away from the home. So, we did that. So, okay. It's me again. Okay. Now, I want to show you another kind of uh, mezuzah. So, I will speak in, don't be confused because I will speak in English and Tagalog, okay? For my fewer subscriber, either uh, Filipino, may kababayan, or uh, foreigner. So, I want to show you now. Gusto ko ipakita sa inyo kung ano isa pang klase ng mesosa. So, this one is another mesosa, you see? It's uh, made of uh, wood. It's made of wood. See? Kita nyo? Gawa siya sa kahoy. Mezuza. So, the prayer, the secret prayer, eh, the rabbi put, you cannot see in the, uh, the outs outside the surface. You can see it inside. It's written in inside. You see? So, it's written inside. And only the rabbi or the priest of Israel 
are allowed to put a secret secret prayer or Hebrew secret prayer. So, ang ang mga rabay o pari ng Israel lang ang may karapatan na na maglagay ng secret prayer sa loob ng isang mesusa. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo. Okay. Ito yung pintuan ko. Dito sa kwarto ko. This is my bedroom. You see? Okay. So, here is the doorknob. And the, me the mesusa must to be put in the right side of the door. So, kita nyo. So, ito yung pintuan. And dito yung doorknob sa kaliwa. Dapat yung mesusa nasa kanan. Kita nyo. It's made of wood. Ano siya? Yari siya sa, sa kahoy. So, hindi lang... Hindi lang... Um, uh, mesusa is made of a... Uh, uh, plastic. It's also can be made by woods or metal. So, hindi lang siya plastic na katulad na pinakita ko sa previews. Kundi pwede rin siyang gawa sa kahoy o sa metal. Another one, mesos, kind of mezuza. Wait, I show you here in, the, in this door. This is the front door. I'll show you. Okay, let's go outside. You see the front door? Okay, this is the front door. Say, I'm sorry, it's very sunlight. So, ito yung pinakaharapan ng pintuan dito sa Israel. Uh, you can see the mesosa. It's old mesosa. It's made of metal. See? This is the doorknob. And the mesosa must to be put in the right side of the door. Kailangan nasa, ano siya, kanan. Ito yung doorknob sa kaliwa. At nasa kanan yung mesusa. Okay? Um, the mesusa must to be put in the, in the right side of the door. Um, let's close this. The mesusa must to be in the right side. And the, in the left side is the doorknob. So it's it made of it, it is made of metal. So you see, the secret Hebrew uh, prayer is inside the mesusa. Another one I want to show you. Wait. You see that another door. You see, uh, isa pang pintuan, isa pang pintuan. Papakita ko sa inyo ha. So, nakita nyo. Another one. Wait, I show you. So, ito yung pintuan niya. Ito yung back door. Back door to. Sa, li sa likod ng bahay, may back door. So, dalawa yung pintuan namin. We have a... Um, Two door here in the house. See here in Israel, front door and the back door. So this is the first uh, door that I show you before. Ito yung unang pintuan na ipinakita ko sa inyo. Sa likod to ng bahay na ng alaga ko dito sa Israel. So ito yung mesusa. It's made of metal also. You see, it's made of metal. And another one I want to uh, to tell you here in Israel. Every time the Israel people we go outside. They be after they leave the house outside. They put like this, one, two, and then and like that. And they say a little prayer, small prayer before they go outside. And another thing is, uh, uh, I'm not I'm not uh, Jewish. I'm 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 Christian. So Christian usually don't put the mesusa on the door. So. I'm not a Jewish Christian na uh, Christian na hindi ako Hujo. So hindi ang mga Christian hindi naglalagay ng meso sa sa pintuan. So ang mga Christian na tulad ko, bag, pagkatapos umalis ng bahay, lumabas ng bahay. So wala tayong pinapahid na ganoon, di ba? So nagdadasal ang mga Christian 
paglabas ng bahay, nagdadasal. Na uh, proteksyonan ang bahay, ingatan sa masasamang elemento, sa sunog, sa magnanako, o sa ano, ano pa mga masasamang bagay. So, we put, after we leave the house outside, we say little prayer. So, as I said before, kapag ang bahay ay walang meso sa, either the, the owner of the house is Christian or Muslim or atheist. It is to say they don't believe in God. They, they believe in themselves. So, pag may meso sa, automatic, Jewish yung nakatira. So, in English, uh, here in Israel, uh, the, the Israel people or the Jewish people, wait, before, after they leave the house, they make like that, and then, and they say a little small prayer after they leave the house. So, ang mga Christian and Muslim and atheists, they don't usually have mezuzah in the, in the door. So, most of the Muslim, I think, and Christian like me and atheists are, uh, after they leave the house, they say a small prayer after they leave the house. They don't apply like that in the mezuzah. So, I want only to show you what the Israeli people or the Jewish people are doing after they leave the house. So, you see? And I want also to tell you, here in Israel, all the grocery store, supermarket, um, small restaurant, uh, mini shop, most of them, they, you can see a mezuzah on the door. Any place here in Israel, even my supermarket, small grocery, a small restaurant, driving school, everywhere. Most of the door here, not most, all of them, they have mezuzah on the door. So, lahat ng lugar dito sa Israel, mapa supermarket, mapa grocery, mapa small restaurant, mapa driving school, mapa, kahit anong business pa yan, nakikita mo nyo lahat ng pintuan ng mga businesses dito, may mezuzah sa pintuan. All, all the establishment here, they have mezuzah on the door. Lahat ng lugar dito, ng pintuan, ng mga businesses, kahit ano pa yan, merong mezuzah, mezuzah sa pintuan. Actually, it's difficult to find mezuzah, especially you are not living in Israel. For example, you are, you are interested to buy a mezuzah and you want to put a mezuzah in your house. It's difficult to find mezuzah. It's only made by here in Israel. I don't know. I never heard the someone in the Philippines like uh, my my hometown if they uh, uh, sell a uh, mesusa. And the rest of the other country aside from Israel, I think they don't also sell mesusa. Either you are in America, Canada, Thailand, or Philippines, or what where wheresoever. So never heard. It's only the first time I also. I only heard about Mesa here only in Israel. So in Tagalog, mahirap kung interesado kang bumili ng Mesa. Napakahirap maghanap ng Mesa, di ba? Wala naman sa Pilipinas, wala naman sa Canada, wala naman sa Amerika, sa Thailand, o sa Nepal, o sa India. Ang hirap. Only lang, dito ko lang talaga nakita yung Mesa dito sa Israel. Actually, there are symbols. Mesa is a uh, symbol of uh, what happened to the to the time of uh, Moises how I said to you, how uh, has, as I said to you before na yung time na nga ni Mo Moises Mesusa is a symbol of uh, blood ordered by God Yahweh during the time of Moises when the Israel people were ens enslaved or slave in the in the in the Egypt and God Yahweh uses uh, used uh, Moises to rem to to save Israel people out of Egypt, the the you, you know eh, ten plaques of Israel, sampung salut ng Israel is written then. So I would I will write here what uh, the story when it happened. Only only have to do is open the Bible, and you can see the story. The um, so I give you a little uh, short story about the. I want, I want to say it again. I want to complete about the story of my Mesusa here in my content. Um, if you have the Bible there, or uh, if you don't have Bible, you can use Google.
just type that story of the in the book of I think Deuteronomy if I'm not mistaken. I, I will put it down there. During the time the ten plaques of Israel were before uh, Israel people. It what I think it's happened two thousand years ago. And the the people of, of Israel, the nation of Israel were slave in the Egypt during those times. And then uh, God used a uh, Moses to save the Israel people out of Egypt. So the ten plaques of Israel is the one of them is the the punishment of God is to kill the eldest son, the eldest son of the Egypt nation. So God uh, or say to Moses to to tell to the all the nation of Israel during those time to put a blood on the on the door so blood of the lamb i think and they put the lamb the blood of the lamb on the, the door so the angel of death the, the spirit of death will not kill the people inside that house so if you put the the blood of lamb on your delet the angel of death will not go inside your uh, inside your house so during those times the israel people follow what moises said to them by the order of god of course and then after that um af uh, they need to wait i think uh, evening and then all the people are sleeping during those times and then when when the angel of death has arrived the the eldest son of the egyptian were being killed including the son of the pharaoh Ramses, if I'm not mistaken, it's Ramses, the king of uh, Egypt during, during those times. And then, um, the eldest son, only one son of the Pharaoh or the king of Egypt were being killed also. So, all the uh, Israelites put a blood, of course, in the, in, the, in the door. So, now, we are now in 2021, it's, we are now in modern times. Or maybe this video of me will uh, watch, will be watched in the future, 2021, 2022, it doesn't matter. We are, we are in the modern times. So the symbol of the blood during those times of Moises is this mesusa. So sa Tagalog, uh, ibibigay ko sa iyo yung pinakamaigsing istorya ng tungkol sa mesusa. Uh, kung meron kang Biblia dyan, or kung wala kang Biblia, gumamit ka nalang ng Google, isearch mo yung nilagay ko dyan sa sa baba, na kung saan matatagpuan siya sa Bible, yung istorya ng Mesusa. So, gagawin kong buod para mas maunawaan mo. Nung panahon ni Moises, nung nag-alipin pa ang mga taga-Israelites, mga Israelis sa Egypt, grabe yung paghihirap na dinadanas nila doon. So, ginami, grabe yung dasal nila, halos pinahirapan sila doon, naging alipin sila sa Egypt. Alam nyo naman yung istorya. So, ngayon, ginamit ni Yahweh, o ng Panginoon, ni God, si Moises, para iligtas ang mga taga-Israel mula sa pagkaalipin mula sa Egypto. Kung narinig nyo yung sampung salot na iginawad ng Panginoong Yahweh sa Israel, ten plaques of Israel in English, or sampung salot, kasama doon yung pagpatay na inutos ng Panginoong Yahweh, napapatayin yung mga panga anak na panganay na lalaki ng mga Egyptian. So, nagbigay ng utos si Lord Yahweh, si God Yahweh, ang Panginoong Yahweh, kay Moises, na iutos mo sa mga taga-Israel na maglagay sila ng dugo ng, ng tupa, dugo ah, dun sa, ipahid nila dun sa pintuan. So, ang ginawa ng mga taga-Israel, pinahiran nila yung pintuan ng dugo. Kasi nung gabi na yon darating yung angel of death or yung spirit of death o yung spirito ng kamatayan para patayin lahat ng pinakapanganay na anak na lalaki ng mga Egyptian. So, para hindi madamay ang mga anak na panganay na lalaki ng mga Israelites, so, kailangan nila magpahid ng dugo ng tupa doon sa may pintuan. So, nagpahid sila. Ngayon, kasama doon sa mga namatay na anak na panganay na lalaki ay yung lahat ng mga anak na anak na panganay na lalaki ng mga Egyptian kasama doon yung nag-iisang anak na lalaki, nag-iisang anak ha, lalaki pa ng Pharaoh or king of Egypt. Kung di ako nagkakamali Ramses yung pangalan ng Egypt. Kung di ako nagkakamali ha. 
yun nga, grabe nga yung iyak nung hari ng, ng Egypt, Egypt nung panahon na yun. Egypt, Ramses ata yung pangalan ng hari, yung pero nila. So, namatay yung panganay. Ikaw ba naman mamatayan ka ng panganay? Lalaki pa, nag-iisa pa. Di ba, ang sakit-sakit. Ang sakit. So, yun nga. Uh, so, ngayon, we are now living, na, nabubuhay tayo ngayon sa 2021. So, maaaring itong video na ito mapanood pa ng 2022, 2023, 2024. So, hindi na malaga yung basta nasa modern times na tayo. So, tapos na yung story ni Moise. So, itong may susa, simbolo siya. Nung nangyari yun ng panahon na yun, na nagpahid ang mga taga-Israelite, Israeli ng dugo sa pintuan ng kanilang mga tinutuloyan para hindi nga sila mapatay ng espiritu ng kamatayan um, I forgot to tell you also I want to add additional information about the mezuzah um, most people here in Israel believe uh, believe that the mezuzah give blessing to the people who, who live on that house for example this place eh, as you can see a lot of mezuzah here all the door here inside this house so people believe here in, in Israel that having a mezuzah posted on the door will give a will give a blessing to the owner of the house and also protections so in Tagalog Uh, dito sa Israel, pinaniniwalaan ng mga tao dito, especially mga Israelita, Israelito, na ang pagkakaroon ng meso sa, sa loob ng bahay na nakalagay sa pintuan, kahit sa ang pintuan dito sa ba mga bahay ng Israeli, labas o loob, pinaniniwalaan nila na nakakapagbigay ito ng biyaya o blessing sa taong nakatira doon sa loob ng bahay na yun. Many kinds of blessings and at saka ng protection. Nagbibigay siya ng protection sa mga nakatira dun sa bahay ng mayroong mezusa. If you like my video, please eh, give me a like. If you don't like, can, you can give me a dislike. And if you are not subscribed on my channel, please click the subscribe button down below in the right side. And... Eh, Please click all so you be notified on on all my um, upcoming vlog and or content and feel please feel free to send me comment in the comment section down below you can, you can see a comment section down below comment what do you want ask question opinion shout out what what you thinking about the message everything feel free to send me comment down comment the section down below and you can also share my channel on whatsapp and messenger and facebook you can share with your friends so tagalog uh, kung hindi ka pa naka-subscribe sa akin channel please paki-pindot na lang po yung subscribe button down below sa kanan yung kulay pula diyan paki-click na po Pagka-click po yung subscribe button, may makikita po kayong bell notification. Paki-click po yung bell notification para updated po kayo sa mga darating ko pa na vlog. And kung gusto, nagustuhan mo chan, ang video na ito, maaari mo ba akong bigyan ng like? Click mo yung like. Diyan o, no? sila sa baba. And kung di mo nagustuhan, pwede mo naman ako i-click ng dislike. And may comment section Diyan, sa ilalim. May comment section diyan Makita mo sa ilalim. Pwede kang magsulat diyan ng opinion mo, anong naiisip mo, anong reaction mo, shout out, lahat. Tagalog, English, pwede pa yan. Diyan sa may comment section down below. Para alam ko kung, kung nandyan ka pa, buhay ka pa, nanonood ka pa. <laughs> okay, that's for now. And I hope you li like my vlog. And... Good morning everyone! It's morning now here in Israel.